Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Hinchy Gymnasium at West Rutland High School as uh, we get set for our second boys game, second semifinal here tonight. And the semifinal teams here are the Rutland Rec Pride versus the Slate Valley Boys out of Fairhaven, Vermont. And right now we see the Rutland Rec Pride being introduced on the floor. We'll get these guys on camera here as they are introduced and we'll tell you who they are. They are Mason Hertz, Aaron Jones, Simon Moulton, Liam Bouchard, Harlan Tondorf, Connor Brush, Benjamin Conway, and Brody Taylor. And there they are, folks, the Rutland Rec Pride under head coach Dave Pear. Coach Pear right there, congratulating his guys. They've just been introduced on the floor. And coming up here next, we'll have the Slate Valley boys introduced. And there you see them uh, coming out. First one, Carter Markey, uh, Brady Kent, Joey Rice, Alex Campbell, Jacob Webb, also Peyton Knott, John Thayer, Ari Lupian, Bain Robinson, and Charles Darushik. And that is the entire roster. The coaches are Ken Webb and Parth Patel. And we are just about set to see this uh, tip off coming up here in just a moment. The boys uh, first game was uh, won by Middlebury. Middlebury defeating the Rutland Rec. Or correct that, I got that backwards there folks. Rutland Rec defeating Middlebury 42 to 38 in the first half uh, semifinal. And now the they will face the winner of this contest uh, here tonight. So it could be kind of interesting. We have one Rutland Rec team already in there. That's Rutland uh, Rec Boudreau team. And uh, that's how they distinguish themselves. And this is the Rutland Rec Pride. So the Rutland Rec with a couple of different uh, teams in this Glodzik tournament. And the officials out on the uh, floor here. Looks like we're going to have the same two officials as we did last game. So they get double duty here. And we'll be ready to go here in just a moment. There's the Rutland Rec Pride team. And we'll swing it over here and get the uh, Slate Valley boys here for you. Out of Fairhaven, Vermont. So some good uh, Rutland area teams here. Rutland County, always fun. And playing over here at uh, West Rutland. I know we had uh, Proctor girls and West Rutland girls in the uh, semis, so that was kind of fun. That would be kind of fun to see both those teams play in a championship or play against each other. All right, we're just about ready to go. We'll have our opening uh, tip-off coming up here in just a moment. Both teams with their players uh, lined up uh, right here at center court. All right, we are underway in the boys' game, and there's a nice opening drive to the basket. Didn't get the camera quite up there, but uh, that bucket was hit by Joey Rice doing a nice job. So we have Fairhaven team leading and the Slate Valley boys up on top two to nothing. Rec team down the floor will get off a shot top of the circle. Putting that one up was Mason Hurt. Got a good look at it. Left-handed shot is up in. That one is going to be off, out of bounds. So it goes back to the uh, Slate Valley boys. All right, an out of bounds gives it back to the Rutland Rec Pride team. Slate Valley boys back waiting on defense.
As Brody Taylor putting up the pride shot. Misses, pride get the uh, rebound. Chance to reset. Got a good little ball handler right here, number 13, that's Aaron Jones. You can tell he's been uh, dribbling a basketball for a while, doing a nice job there, but we do have the ball go out of bounds at the baseline. And that'll give it back on offense now here to Slate Valley. Good save and bounce at the Slate Valley end of the floor, but into Rutland Ruck hands and number 13 on the way to the basket, Aaron Jones. Showing his quickness there too, taking it down the floor. In for the uh, bucket. Ties up our ball game at two apiece. Got a Slate Valley shot there missed. Joey Rice put that one up. And there will be a foul directly after that. That's Charles Darushik is going to pick up the personal foul there on the play. So it goes back to the pride, tied up at two apiece. A couple of minutes gone in this uh, second game, the boys' semifinal game number two. Already one Rutland Ruck team in the championship of the Glodzik tournament coming up tomorrow night, and they will meet the winner of this game. Another Rutland Ruck team. That's Rutland Ruck Boudreau that's in there now. Jump ball. This is Rutland Rack Pride. The guys you see there in the dark uniform. Brady Kent puts up that shot for Slate Valley. Misses. Pride get the rebound and they get it right into Aaron Jones' hands. Aaron's an excellent little ball handler. That was Simon Moulton putting up that long ball there for a three point attempt. Misses out of bounds. It looks like it's gonna be out of bounds off Slate Valley. So we see Rutland Rock team getting ready to inbound here. Loose ball picked up. They try to get a fast break going down the floor. Long pass down the floor goes out of bounds at the baseline. Back to the Rutland Rec Pride as we have 3.15 left to go. First quarter. Quarter number one going by real fast here. The Pride get it over the uh, half court line now. That's Jones. Brings it into that right corner now backing up. Now he's going to take that shot. That's three point try. This one not going to go. Good play, saving it by Carter Markey. Saves it in bounds. And now we get a whistle and a traveling violation. All right, so the Pride will be back waiting on defense, and here we see Fairhaven will get it on the possession. The inbound. And here come Fairhaven, uh, Slate, uh, the Fairhaven Slate Valley boys. I want to say the Slaters, which is the high school team who had an excellent year, the boys high school team under coach Pronovost. They lost in the semis at the Barry Auditorium. And here are the little guys in the semis at the Ed Glodzik tournament. Yeah, nice drive to the basket. All psyched up there is Jones for the Rutland Pride. Aaron Jones making a nice layup. Loose ball here at the Slate Valley boys end of the floor. Pride coming up with it. Three point try by Brody Taylor. Off the glass, no good. Slate Valley boys got a rebound. I'm just trying to find that play. That's uh, Bain Robinson. Give him credit for that rebound. 
We'll try a quick break down the floor. Ball ends up going out of bounds. And Bain Robinson right there getting ready to inbound it. Showing some good hustle out there. Young Robinson gets it in play. Good, uh, nice bounce pass. Good heads up play by Robinson to Joey Rice. And Joey's going to get that bucket. Brings us under two minutes left to go here in the first quarter. We're tied up at four apiece with that basket. Here come the Rutland Ruck Pride down the floor. Aaron Jones gets tied up, passes it back out on top, right back to Jones. He's going to take that three-point try. And that one off the bat, uh, glass, no good. A second attempt underneath. Now a third attempt. And Simon Moulton put up one of those shots. Mason Hurt, another try. Ball goes back over on that left wing. Here's another shot attempt, and that one's not going to go. That was Simon Moulton again. All kinds of action here. Another shot by Mason Hurt, misses. And this time Slate Valley with a rebound, long pass down the floor. Let's see if they get an angle on the basket, and they do. Joey Rice is going to finish off that play with a nice looking layup. Right-handed shot makes it six to four. Looks like the Slate Valley boys are going to have the home side of the clock here. Aaron Jones driving to the basket. Took a lane right in front of the basket, misses the shot. Alex Campbell there got the rebound. Now the ball knocked out of bounds underneath the basket with 34 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. All right, Slate Valley leads it six to four. Slate Valley boys getting ready to inbound and doing that will be Bain Robinson. Nice inbounds to Carter Markey. Carter puts up the shot, misses. Rebound coming down. Now to the Rutland Ruck Pride. Going to kick it outside for a Mason Hurt shot. Mason had a good look at the basket there. Couldn't get it to drop in, though. Now we get a tie up here, as you see at the half court. That's a jump ball signal. Let's see who the possession. The arrow's behind me, so... Looks like Rutland getting ready to come here to the sideline. All right, so the Rutland Rec Pride will be the inbounding team. They'll do that with 13 seconds on the clock. So they're going to have to put something together here in a hurry. Uh, enough time, though. 13 seconds, plenty of time. Aaron Jones lines it up, puts up the shot, misses, gets his own rebound back up. Nice follow-up, and he hits it on the second try. And there you hear the buzzer. So a nice way to end the quarter. Good first quarter for both teams as we have a 6-6 tie at the end of one quarter. And that is the Rutland Ruck Pride taking on the Slate Valley Boys. And this is the semifinals of the Ed Glodzik Tournament in West Rutland at Hinchy Gymnasium. Second quarter action coming up. Okay, back ready to go for second quarter action. Slate Valley Boys you're looking at right there. Get ready to put the ball in play to start our second quarter. The inbounder will be Bain Robinson. Quick shot from the right corner put up by Brady Kent, misses. Aaron Jones with a rebound, coast to coast, in for the left-handed, or left-sided uh, shot, right-handed layup, misses, and we get a foul. Circle, circle. That was after the shot, so it'll just be inbounded at the baseline. Ball gets knocked out of bounds here at the sideline, so just going to put the ball in play here at the sideline. And that is a travel against the Fairhaven Slate Valley boys. Going back to the Rutland Rec Pride will inbound it. See the Slate Valley boys are back here at the other end of the floor just waiting on defense. Aaron Jones top of the circle, pass over into the right corner. 
Let's see if we get a shot here over on this side. Yes, we do. Brody Taylor putting it up off the rim, no good. Rebound down to Carter Markey. The outlet pass, though, gets stolen by Jones. Puts up a shot, misses. Rebound underneath the Rutland Pride basket. Simon Moulton got that rebound. Right back to Jones. They want the ball in his hands. Takes another three-point try, misses. This time Carter Markey again with a rebound. Carter having a nice game. We're tied up here at six apiece with 4.50 left to go here in this first half. This is the semifinals. Second game of the semifinals of the boys bracket. Already won a Rutland Ruck team, the Rutland Ruck Boudreaux team winning the first game and waiting for their opponent, which will be the winner of this game. Aaron Jones gonna walk it down the floor over the half court line. Jones puts up a shot, misses. Somebody tipped it back up there. Now a jump ball, a couple of players. Jones won. Somebody from Slate Valley tying him up. Rutland Wreck inbounds it, and uh, somebody left Brody Taylor all alone there. He got the inbounds pass. And goes in for the uh, two-point bucket. Nice job, Brody. Brady Kent getting chased all over the place out on top there. Controlling it for the Slaters. Dumps it off over on the left side. Now we get a steal. It's Mason Hurt showing some good hustle. Mason doing a nice job here defensively. Good scrappy player. And it looks like they're gonna foul, uh, find a foul away from the ball that time. That foul is gonna be. Gonna be on Brody Taylor, it looks like. All right, so ball inbounded by the Slade Valley boys and just as quickly gets knocked out of bounds. That with 3.43 left to go here in this first half. This is kind of a low scoring affair so far. First boys game gave us a bunch of offense. These guys starting a little slower here at the moment. Right side of the free throw line, shot put up and missed by Ari Lupian on that shot attempt. Rutland Rec Pride rebound. That's Aaron Jones controlling it out on top. Benjamin Conway trying that shot attempt. Carter Markey put up a shot on the left side, misses it. Ari Lupian tried it from the right side, he misses. And a Rutland Rec Pride rebound. Here come the Pride down the floor with 2.40 left to go. Get a right wing shot put up and missed there by Mason Hurt. Ball out away from the basket is rebounded by Rutland Pride. Shot way outside. Miss, but tip back up there, and I believe that was Liam Bouchard that hit that bucket. Aaron Jones on the first attempt misses, but Bouchard doing a nice job. And there's a beautiful shot uh, right there by Joey Rice. In and out. Tough break on that one. We're down to two minutes left to go here in this first half. Pride get a couple of shots off. Benjamin Conway missed that first one, but then a rebound. Connor Brush 
on the rebound and put it up, hit the bucket for the two. Well, pass intended into the middle there is taken away. Brings us down to approaching a minute left to go here in the half. Aaron Jones will slow it up, slow up the pace here a little bit. Brings it between circles, as you see. Try to set up some offense here for the Rutland Rec Pride. Liam Bouchard put up the shot, misses. Slate Valley boys doing a good job working it around the perimeter. They get off a good shot underneath, missing. Carter Markey put up one, Jacob Webb the other. Second shot, both of them are not going to go. Pride with a rebound. 30 seconds showing on the clock left to go here in the first half. Well, there's a shot from downtown. We got 21 seconds left to go here in this first half. The Pride will inbound it, probably try for a last shot. Aaron Jones in no hurry here. Dribbles into a, a couple of defenders there in the middle and ends up uh, getting called for a traveling violation. So Slate Valley boys got a chance to get a shot off here anyway. Inbounded, knocked out of bounds. Went right through the doorway there, gets chased out into the hallway. All right, Slate Valley will have it back. They will inbound and try to get it down the floor. They got six seconds here over the half court line. And that is a good shot, just not gonna go. Though Brady Kent took a good shot. Off the side of the rim, no good to end the half. And at the end of one half of basketball, there is our score. And that is Ruth and Ruck Pride leading Slate Valley by a score of 12-6 at the half. And we'll come back with our second half in just a moment. We are at West Rutland High School, Hinsey Gymnasium. Second half action, ready to start here in just a moment. We have the Rutland Rec Pride team taking on the Slate Valley Boys in game number two of the semifinals. And we are underway to start our second half. See the ball get knocked out of bounds. Rutland Rec Pride leading by a score of 12-6. The other Rutland Rack Boudreau team winning earlier here tonight, so they are waiting for their opponent, which will be the winner of this game. We get an up and down call against the Fairhaven player. Jumped up in the air to take a shot, thought he was gonna get blocked and came back down, and that is a violation. All right, out of bounds, and now the ball will be inbounded here by the Rutland Ruck Pride here at the baseline. Aaron Jones putting up a shot, missing. Nice little shot there by Brady Kent. Not the biggest guy out there, but he comes up big right there with that big bucket. Makes it 12-8. Slate Valley boy's been looking for a little offense and he brought it to him. J 
Jones putting up the right-handed shot in front of the basket. No good. Pride get the rebound. All right, there is a foul that is going to put Simon Moulton on the line to shoot. That is Simon lining up right there on the Rutland Rec Pride free throw line. Get a little closer here as we try to zoom in on him, taking a couple of shots, puts up the first. A little bit wide left on that shot. He'll get one more. And the second one is going to be good. Bounces high off the back of the rim. Drops right back down. He'll get the two on that one. And the Slate Valley boys quickly down to their end of the floor where they're going to throw it away on a turnover. Simon Moulton coming up with it. Moulton going in from the left side for a layup try. Got fouled. Actually, he didn't. He didn't. He got called for an offensive foul. All right, so that's what that was all about. So that'll give it back to Slate Valley boys. Approaching the four-minute mark left to go here in the third quarter. Nice teamwork down the floor to Carter Markey. will finish that off. Got it underneath left side of the basket. Good open look at it. In for the two. Aaron Jones drives to the basket, puts up a shot, misses. Charles Darushik there with the rebound. Nice break down the floor here, and going to be too much to handle there for Brady Kent underneath. Gets away from him out of bounds. 13 to 10. Close ball game, low scoring affair here in this boys game, boys semifinal. Very popular tournament here at West Rutland for many, many years. The Ed Glodzik Basketball Tournament. Nice job. Brady Kent came up with that loose ball, fed it underneath to Carter Markey. And Carter able to drop it in for the two. And Slate Valley's been quiet for a while, but there they are, they just kind of woke up here in the last minute or two, get a couple of quick baskets and bring us to a one point ball game. And that is causing the Rutland Rec Pride team right here as we look to want to take a time out here on the floor. And with that, we'll be back with more in just a moment from the Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland at the Ed Glodzik Memorial Basketball Tournament. All right, both teams back out on the floor. Ready to go once again. We'll swing over here, and there are the Rutland Rock Pride inbounding it, bringing it down the floor. Slate Valley boys just waiting on defense. Now a steal by the Slate Valley boys. And a breakaway to the basket. They finished that off very nicely with a bucket there by Joey Rice. And Rutland Rock Pride wants another timeout just as quickly. They thought they took care of business in that first timeout and right away scored upon. We'll continue in a moment. Back at the Hinchy Gymnasium, West Rutland. And a timeout on the floor taken by the Rutland Rec Pride. They get off a shot that is gonna be a little bit wide left of the basket taken by Mason Hurt. Slate Valley boys with the rebound. Mason Hurt ripping it away from one of the Slate Valley boys. Now re-stolen by the Slate Valley boys. And in for the layup is Joey Rice. 16-13. The Slate Valley boys have found their rhythm here. Now taking the lead for the first time in this ball game. Brody Taylor putting up that shot for the Rec Pride missing.
Joey Rice, another shot attempt misses. Ruck pride Aaron Jones on a breakaway down the floor. Got the ball stripped away from him. And here comes Fairhaven. Now we're running up and down the floor, as you can see. Now a traveling violation against Fairhaven. That'll slow the pace a little bit. Brings us down to a minute 34 left to go here in the third quarter. Okay, Slate Valley boys want a timeout. That's Coach Ken Webb and Parth Patel. All right, both teams back out after the timeout. Just about set to go. Rutland Rec Pride at the other end of the floor right here will bring it down the floor. Slate Valley will save energy, waiting down on defense. Using a zone defense. Ball inbounded, lost out of bounds. It looks like Slate Valley boys will have it. Rutland Rec team goes by the, the name of Pride. Slate Valley boys have Falcons written across their shirt. Ball out of bounds there with 56 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Aaron Jones shot top of the circle, no good. Rebound, Charles Darushik. Slate Valley boys almost lose it out of bounds there, but now they are going to lose it because they get called for a traveling violation. So back to the pride with 26 seconds showing on the clock left to go, third quarter. Going to be a foul against Fairhaven, the Falcons. And that will give it to the Rough and Ruck Pride to inbound with 4.7 seconds showing on the clock. See if they get, yep, they're going to get a shot off. Oh, and that one rattles the rim in and out. Good attempt by Simon Moulton. A little thrill for everybody at the end of the third quarter. After three quarters, it's the Slate Valley boys, the Falcons, leading the Rough and Ruck Pride 16 to 13. Fourth and final quarter up next. Okay, we are at Hinchy Gymnasium, West Rutland, West Rutland High School. Home of the Ed Glodzik Basketball Tournament. And this is fourth quarter action, 16-13. Slate Valley Falcons leading the Rutland Rec Pride. And the winner of this game will meet the winner of the Rutland Rec Boudreaux team that won earlier over Middlebury. Shot attempt put up on the Rutland side, missing. Slate Valley with the rebound. Good hustle, Aaron. Good hustle. 
Going to be a foul against the Slate Valley boys. Three-point attempt by Benjamin Conway. Got a good shot at it. Took a good shot, just comes off the rim, no good. Rebound, Slate Valley. That's Joey Rice out on top with it. Eye in that basket, can't get room for a shot. Passes off right back to Rice. This time, nope, still not gonna get a shot. Good ball movement by Slate Valley. On top of the circle, there's the open shooter. That's Brady Kent. And that one rims out, got halfway down. And we do have a rebound, Slade Valley. Back to Kent out on top. They work it around right side, another open shot. This is by Carter Markey, in, out, back in. Gonna give him two on that one. 18-13, five point advantage. Biggest lead of the ball game by either team. Aaron Jones putting up that shot off the rim. Took a good shot at it. Misses. And a battle for the rebound. We'll have a foul. That's Randy Dewey, one of your officials out there, picking up the personal foul. Gonna be a turnover by Slade Valley. Good for carrying call, carrying the basketball. Liam Bouchard will be the inbounder with 4.16 left to go here in the ball game. Simon Moulton put it up a shot there. Three point attempt by the Pride misses. Rebound end to end drive by Brady Kent. Gonna finish that off with a nice looking basket. Makes it 20 to 13. Benjamin Conway putting up a shot missing. Pride doing a nice uh, job on defense here. And we're gonna have a foul though, however, on that play. So it will stay with the Slate Valley boys, the Falcons, and they'll inbound it at the sideline. Benjamin Conway on that steal. Aaron Jones will take a three point shot attempt. Wide right of the basket goes out of bounds is a miss with 3.19 left to go in the basketball game. So the Slate Valley boys, the Falcons looking pretty strong here at the moment as we have another uh, timeout here on the floor. We'll continue in a moment. Hinchy Gymnasium, West Rutland, the semifinals of the Ed Glodzik Tournament, boys' second game, continues in a moment. Slate Valley boys get set to inbound the basketball. They lead 20-13, 3-18 left to go here in this basketball game. Semifinals of the Ed Glodzik Tournament at West Rutland High School. Slate Valley moving it around nicely. They find an open shooter. And that is Brady Kent lighting it up there with a big bucket. Another shot attempt. Mason Hurt going to be a little short on that one. Rebounded by the Slate Valley. Now a steal. Aaron Jones coming up with it, trying to make his way to the basket. We get a collision. He tried to pass it off to Benjamin Conway right there. And we'll have a foul. Yeah. 
Inbounds play to Jones, put up the shot, misses. Rebound, Slate Valley. A steal by the Pride, put up a shot again. Jones misses. Another shot attempt, this time by Conway, he misses. Right back to Jones to reset the offense. Way out there, Conway puts up a shot. Brings us down to the two minute mark left to go in the basketball game. Carter Markey showing some good moves right there. Drives in baseline, gets underneath for a shot, good for the two. 125 left to go on the ball game. Slate Valley boys, the Falcons leading 25-13. Looking like they're ready to go to the championship of the Ed Glodzik tournament. Benjamin Conway shot at the Rutland Ruck Pride end of the floor, off the rim no good. Nobody down the floor as we get a layup try put up there by Brady Kent. He misses and uh, the ball goes out of bounds. And it will remain with the Falcons. So they'll be inbounding here at the baseline. They get set to do that. All right, the ball out of bounds will be inbounded at the baseline. Three-point attempt put up. Mason Hurt missing that one. Rebound Slate Valley. Under half a minute left to go here in this ball game. Looks like it won't be two Rutland Rec teams in the championship. Slate Valley pass stolen. Under 10 seconds left to go in our ball game. And a foul committed with 4.3 seconds left on the clock. That is gonna put us at the free throw line. And Brody Taylor is the guy you're looking at right there on the foul line. Brody will get a couple of shots. Fouled well shooting. And he's gonna hit his first one, he'll get one more. Makes it 25-14. And the second one is good. Slate Valley with it in play, and there it is. The buzzer in celebration over here on the Slate Valley side as they go to the championship. And they will face the Rutland Rec Boudreau team for the championship of the Ed Glodzik Tournament. We'll have some final comments and statistics coming up from Hinchy Gymnasium in West Rutland. Okay, final score is 25-15. Uh, Slate Valley boys, the Falcons, defeating the Rutland Rec Pride here tonight. And uh, let's just uh, run down the uh, scoring here for, first of all, the winning Slate Valley team. And it was Carter Markey finishing up with a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11 points, so a nice uh, night for Markey. Kent will finish up, that's Brady Kent, with a total of uh, two points. Uh, we have Joey Rice down with two, four, six, eight, ten 10 points. And uh, let's see, who are we? Bain Robinson will finish up with a total of uh, two points. So congratulations on the winning Slate Valley Boys Falcons tonight. And uh, for the Rutland Rec Pride, we had Mason Hurt with a total of two points. Aaron Jones with a total of six points on three field goals. We have down Simon Moulton with a total of one point. 
And uh, Liam Bouchard with a total of two points. And Connor Brush with a total of two points. And Brody Taylor will round out the scoring with a total of two points, two for two for the, from the uh, free throw line. So congratulations, it's Slate Valley boys. Tomorrow night, the Falcons will take on the Rutland Rec Boudreaux team for the championship of the Ed Glogic Tournament. And we want to thank Dion Johnson for her help and also Jesse Grabowski uh, for providing me with the uh, statistics uh, you just heard. Thank you very much. Our presentation of PEG TV and thank you for watching.